Welcome to Desmond's Dons. Let's head off on a donda. Welcome to another Memory Monday. This week we visit the Tomnaberry Stones, the woods at White Hugh Forest and also Loch Park. So join us on our journey. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Desmond's Donders. Uh, this weekend is a long weekend and we're going to three different destinations. Our first stop is the Tomnaberry Stones near Tarland to meet up with some friends. The stones are very atmospheric and although you can't see it because of the mist, this hill is surrounded by hills so that anybody on top of any of the surrounding hills would be able to see this place and anybody approaching would have to do so through the valleys which are obviously easily guarded from the top of the nearby hills. Whilst well, only a personal opinion, I think this was a place where the ancestors were either burnt or flensed after death before scattering of the ashes and bones. And it's a very, very, very atmospheric. I don't know about winter, but autumn is certainly here. Desmond is parked in amongst those bushes and trees. And as you can see, they're all turning. Diary, October the 21st to the 24th, 2016. With Lindsay on night shift, it's important to get her away to relax. We set off to meet up with friends Mal and Margaret Scott. Coded messages were sent and Lindsay did not know where we were going. 
we were going to the Tom Neveri Stones near Tarland. We had a lovely evening with our friends and this spot is a lovely spot with loads to offer. The stones, bird life and wildlife. The best wildlife was probably the stoat that we scared on the path up to the stones after breakfast. Despite the mist, the views were fantastic. Mal and Margaret were heading towards Dinnet and some biking. We were headed for a forestry car park, so we said goodbye and headed our separate ways. morning we left headed for our second destination but we got caught up in the Tarland rush hour well we had to overtake uh, this old old tractor Our second spot is on the Suey Road and is the Whitehall Forest Car Park and on sunny days it has nice views but uh, this wasn't quite a sunny day but you can see the views here are spectacular. This is not a sunrise and it's not a sunset. It's uh, looking probably northeast uh, and just looking at the colours on the clouds. Believe it or not, through a hole in those clouds, as you'll see at the end of the clip. Back in the trees, this time evergreen, so the colours of autumn are not here, but still nonetheless it's good to be in the trees.
Diary continued. We headed for the Suey Road car park at White Hoof Forest. Just outside the car park are some great views across the landscape. On Sunday, we were heading off again, but not until after the RSGB news. Our third destination for the weekend is up beyond the Lock Park Activity Centre and is a car park for the uh, local walking trails above Lock Park. Uh, it's a lovely spot and uh, once again we're back in autumn. The seat and planter is a memorial to somebody who obviously liked this spot as well. So let's have a look round. This is the road we came up and we'll travel back down. And although the road does go further, not very far before it turns to track. Antennas in use here are a mobile whip for 2 meters and 70 cms and I also have an HF vertical whip monoband set for 40 meters. Despite autumn being here and the very autumnal weather, some flowers continue to bloom.
We stopped briefly at the Bin Forest car park, but then moved on to Loch Park. Fantastic birding with thrushes, redwings and goldcrest everywhere. Radio this weekend was by HF Whip and 2 meter Collinia. The HF Whip was detuned by the metal mass so I need to find a solution. But if it was easy, radio would not be so interesting. We left Loch Park headed for home. The weather was lovely, but very cold. Thank you for watching Desmond Stoners. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.